Hello. Eric Martzoff. Ari Zucker, welcome everybody to our favorite event of the year. It is a day of days. Truly a holiday in its own right. And we are here on the set of days. We're actually in the iconic Horton Square and we are so excited to spend the day with all of you. That's right. And to be together even in this way. Aww. So last year was our first virtual day of days event. And even though it was new for all of us, it was the first time that fans all over the world could be together for a day of days. So no matter the distance or how we come together, you are the glue that holds us together. Pretty that was good, beautiful. Right? Thank was you beautiful. very much. It's totally true. We wouldn't be here without you. And today is going to be a big day. Not to mention, ready for this? Yeah. This is day's 56th year. Can you believe it? <sighs> so let's get ready to reminisce, right? The gang's all here. Mm -hmm. We've got Q and A's with your favorite cast members, a look behind the scenes, mm -hmm. and some fun challenges that will put our actors' days knowledge to the test. Challenges. Challenges. All right. <laughs> and you are not going to want to miss the exclusive day of days sneak peek at what's ahead. Say. That's all we're going to say for now. Zip. <laughs> but there is so much more, so stick around for it. Absolutely. Do not click away. All right, give us a shout out on social media with hashtag Day of Days. And after the show, make sure to check out dayofdays2021.com for quizzes and other fun little goodies. You know what? Before we kick things off, we have a special message for all of you from the cast of Days. Hi, Days fans. Hi, Days fans. Hey, Days fans. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to this year's Day of Days. It's a virtual event. I'm so sad that, again, I couldn't meet you all this year. Hopefully next year we can shake some hands, give some hugs, all that good stuff. But until then, thank you for joining us. Thank you for riding with us through these wild stories. It's been a long time, 56 years, and you've all been with us every step. I'm so glad that we've gotten to spend all this time together. 56 years with us. It's been an honor and a privilege, and we look forward to entertaining you for many more years. You guys are the reason we're here and doing what we do on Days of Our Lives. And really, that's why we do it. You're like the sands through the hourglass of time. You're always there. We are here because of you. We would be nothing without you. The reason why the show is on is because of you. We love you. I love you. We love you guys. We love you. We love you all. We love you. We thank you for caring for us. We'll take care of you. Just thank you so much for watching the show. Excited to hopefully be with you next year in person on the Day of Days, but we'll settle for virtual this time. It gives us an opportunity to be able to communicate with you, which we don't normally get. I do see you, and it does make me feel um, loved and cared about, and it means a lot when you think your job matters to somebody, so. I'm gonna pretend I'm seeing you in person, and we'll see you again soon. But from the bottom of my heart, I wanna thank you all for, for continuing to be part of the Days of Our Lives family. We consider you part of our day's family, just as we consider ourselves a family. So it's a team effort. We love you. Keep watching. There's more to come. I am so excited for you guys to see everything that is to come. Because we have some crazy stuff coming up, and you will not want to miss it. Just keep watching, because it's just getting better and better. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks, kids. This show is about family and being together, and you are our family. Now that is the kind of thing that will bring you tears of joy. So what do you say, Eric? Are you ready for the first Q&A panel of the day? Almost, Ari, but before we talk to some of the cast about this current season, why don't we take a look at what's been going on in Salem? Good idea. Every time you smile at me, my heart starts beating faster. You want us to get back together? It's called magic. That's what we have. It's honest, it's real, and it's passionate. And I've never had it with anybody but you. I'm in love. You are a hopeless romantic. That's what you say. Let's have cake. Sweetness, I love you with all of my being. When I'm with you, life makes sense. Fate is always going to bring us back together. Oh my god. I remember how much I love you. <clears throat> Will you marry me? I cannot wait to marry you. <laughs> Going after another woman's man? It's just plain nasty. You got your hooks into Jack. His heart was completely in to everything we were doing, along with the rest of his body. 
husband is a very talented lover. I don't want to see you anywhere near me, my kids, or my husband ever again. Oh! Can you imagine how Abigail would react if she found out I'm pregnant with her husband's child? Nothing hurts a relationship more than keeping secrets. You promised. No more lies. You and I both know Lonnie isn't really Tammy's daughter mama. She's mine. How do you think she'd feel if she found out Abraham Carver isn't her father? I am Gwen's father. I never thought I would have to tell you. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I know you slept with Lucas. Be honest with me now. I slept with Lucas. I want you gone, Samantha. I never want to see you again. Every time I see you together, I get so damn jealous. That is you on New Year's Eve kissing Chloe Lane. This obsession that you have, it's never gonna change. This is the way it's gonna be, and I can't do it anymore. I might feel something for you that's more than just friendship. I think I might feel the same way. You having a thing for Allie, things just got complicated. Ava and I are going out on a date. The truth is, I'm jealous. She is my friend. Will you just admit that you want to sleep with Nicole? I want us to be together again. Get your hands off her. A celebration of love is exactly what this family needs right now. Do you like Lonnie? <laughs> you inspire me to be a better man. I love you, Daddy. Joey. <laughs> this is the night we trim the Christmas tree. You okay? My water just broke. A boy and a girl? A girl. <laughs> this might just be the greatest Christmas ever. John? Is something wrong? He wished that he had never been born, so then he wasn't. And now Potter is running the whole damn town. Okay. Naughty or nice? Maybe tonight I'll show you a little above. Oh, oh, oh. Now that's what I call hot. You know what they say? Birds of a feather flock together. So what do you say? Wanna flock? We should have been making babies a long time ago. What are you doing here? I came to talk about your naked. You talk, your proposal. What a year it has been. <laughs> Never a dull moment in Salem. Aren't you? Don't be childish. Let's settle this like adults. Fine. Ha. Doug Williams, did you just grab my ass? Hello, Days fans. The moment you've all been waiting for is here. That's right. We are here, and we're going to talk to you about what's happened in Salem for the past 12 months. What was the most surprising twist in your storyline this year? The most surprising twist has got to be Jake finding out that not only was Kate able to see the entire time, wow. but then she turns on him and stabs him in the back and just slices the spine right in half. I just Am I like moderating nuts. this thing now? <laughs> 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 All right, so my twist, I guess, would be getting kicked out of the Demer house. Yeah. I mean, that was just kind of a, a big bummer and out of left field. And I just feel like having to go live with my brother is not ideal. For and, me. And, For and, you. For anybody. and Ava. Yeah. <laughs> Is not ideal. <laughs> Correct. Okay, well then on, I will I will continue on that. I think the biggest twist was having the two of them come live yeah. with Ava and Rafe, and um, 
And super fun awesome. though. I will say yeah. it's it's been so much fun because <laughs> they they all know this. Whenever whenever I work with Camila, I just <gasps> I have to remember that I'm Ava and not Tamara because <laughs> I enjoy it so hey, much hey, because same. we have so much fun. It's that so is true. <laughs> she talks about this all the time. Oh, okay. oh like, I couldn't even do it. I was just watching I was her. Just watching her, like, <laughs> enjoying it. We'll be having okay. fun. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I love it. It's great. The twist would be that, you know, having two relationships, like it's, oh, know, yeah, normally I don't even have one, but now I'm like sandwiched oh, in right. between two. Can you look that way? Um, <laughs> so it's awkward. What do you mean? What are you saying? Nothing. What was the most fun scene for you to film this year? Didn't the fun part didn't end up on camera, but uh, it was the first time. Do you know what I'm gonna say? I was thinking, uh, yeah. Yeah. I bored. <laughs> that, 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 yes. Yeah. That um, Rafe and Ava uh, make love. So <laughs> Galen was supposed to flip me over, and he did. And as he did that, flipped me over and smashed my head into the head. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> It was, it was a lot of fun for it, okay. but um, it was so funny. How funny? And it was fun, so I thought they would leave it, and they're like, oh, cut, because they wanted to make oh, it. Kindly, no, they wanted okay? to make sure I was okay. <laughs> yeah. And I was You're not like, bleeding? It's kind of real. I guess it's not sexy, but it's real. No, of course, yeah. yeah. I it think was Ava fun. got fired laugh. up about it, actually. She was coming into them. <laughs> so cute. I was like, you okay? She was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Do it again. <laughs> so, doing the crazy bear voice, which I had to do, and what? then... Duke. So what? the, the, uh, you know the stuffed Duke? bear starts oh, talking to me, and so the share. bear has to have a voice. So I was like, well, I'm, am I doing it? And then they're like, okay, you're going to do the voice. And so I go in, and then Albert. Can I hear the, director, the voice, please? <laughs> yeah, if you watch the show, you would see it. Well, I, I haven't seen it. So You've I've outed yourself the voice. now. We're here right now. Um, <laughs> So, but he's very mischievous, right? So you the, were the bear. The he bear, was the bear. Okay. was like worse. The bear has no filter. The bear's a little, but I didn't, I sort of knew what I wanted to do. But then when I got in the booth, uh, Albert was in there and he's like, let's go. All right. <laughs> and it was kind of great because yeah. uh, Albert's um, crazy. <laughs> and um, so that was fun. Yeah. So Brandon. Yes. Has it been fun to play Jake's rivalry with his Demera brothers, Chad and EJ? It has, no, it's, it's been a miserable experience. <laughs> Next question. Moving on, what else do no, we have for him here? No, it's been great. I mean, kind of the theme of this conversation has been a lot of laughter. And certainly, you know, when we're all on set together mm -hmm. and when I'm on set with, um, I'm, I almost called them EJ and Chad, but with, uh, <laughs> I'm blanking. <laughs> Chad with, and EJ. With, with Chad and EJ, Dan with, with, Dan with Dan and Billy. Dan and Billy. Oh. It's, um, I, I just want to call Dan EJ. He embodies EJ so he well. Does. But with Dan and Billy, it's it's all laughs, and there's a lot of wrangling that has to happen before action is called. So yeah, it's yeah. it's great. Uh, your weddings of Gab as Gabby, excuse me, have been filled with all types of soapy drama, all types. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Right? Yep. What's the most dramatic thing that happened on your real life wedding day? Well, the most dramatic thing that happened was I was on the drive to Joshua Tree, and my wedding planner calls me. And she says, hey, hey, hey. So I'm going to send you some photos of what the space looks like. She sends me the photos. And there are exposed wires, you no know, drywall, insulation on walls <laughs> that should be completed. Oh As you're driving to the wedding? <laughs> so I'm driving to the wedding, and the wedding is the next day. <laughs> oh, like, so she got there before you, obviously, to yes. check it out. And was we were like... going to have a rehearsal there. Oh, wow. So anyway, uh, they fixed the ballroom where we were supposed to have all the dancing um, by putting rolls of this thick canvas on the walls with this pressurized machine thing. And they wrapped all the walls in it. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, that has been amazing. I hope that you out there have enjoyed it as much as I have. I'm so sorry that we don't actually have the real event this year, hopefully next year. But uh, this has been really informative and fun. <laughs> and fun, yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank See you, you next time. We asked the fans on social media to share their thoughts on this season of Days of Our Lives. We're going to take a look at the polls and guess which responses our fans selected. Let's see how well we know our fans. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so fans on Twitter were asked, which couple's breakup brought you to tears? Did the fans say, A, Ben and Sierra, 
B, Eric and Nicole. C, Sammy and EJ. Or D, Abigail and Chad. Did they break up? I'm gonna go with A. A. Ben and Sierra? First? Ben and Sierra, yeah. Hmm. Ben and Sierra. No. Well, maybe. I think Ben and it was Sierra. Sad. She didn't but remember him. But tears, though. I thought that um, Nicole uh, and, yeah, and Eric Nicole. scenes were oh, really yeah. like, oh, oh. Yeah. C? Are you going C? I'm going A, Ben and Sierra. Was, I'm going to go with D. Was, I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to go with B, Eric and Nicole. Oh, and I'm going to go with A. A? Well, yeah, ben and Sierra. Ben. I guess A. I'm going to say Eric and Nicole. Ben, or, ben and Sierra or Chad and Abigail. So three A's to one C. Let's do it. Right. Drum roll. Let's do it. Galen. We were all wrong. Okay, then it's Nicole and Eric. The answer is B, Nicole and yes! Eric. Yes! Uh, Finding Eric and Nicole. Yes! yes! With 30%. Oh Eric wow. and Nicole. Good You're job. welcome, fans. Yeah, Anytime you want a couple breaking up, you come see Uncle Xander, yeah? <laughs> yeah, just give him a million dollars and you'll do it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so the next one is fans on Instagram were asked. When it comes to stirring up trouble, nobody does it better than. Oh, what did the fans say? Gabby or Gwen? Tough one. <laughs> it's tough one. We know who it is. That's Gabby. Uh, I'm sure it's Gabby. Yep. It's sure, it's She's Gabby. a mess. She's a hot mess. Gabby. 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 Yes, it's Gabby. 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 I think Gabby is probably the winner. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know it's Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. Gabby. Yep. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Overwhelming. Gabby, that was fun. Gabby, good guesser, babes. And the winner is Gabby. There yeah. you go. Pretty good, Josh. Gabby. You have your <laughs> fans on Twitter were asked if you could work at one Salem establishment, which would it be? What did the fans say? Basic Black, Brady Pub, Demera Enterprises, or Titan, Titan Industries? I say Titan. Titan. You know what? Titan's shady. It Titan is shady. is shady as hell. I don't think I want to work at Titan. I think I just, I liked working at the Brady Pub. Uh, I say see. Brady Pub because it's a fun place. Work at Salem. It's always got the whiskey flowing and stuff. I say there, I say Brady Definitely Pub. Definitely Brady Pub. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Love me some Brady Pub. But I'm gonna go Demera because I think Ben Weston could take it over and make everybody go crazy. How about that? Woo! How about that? How about that? How about that? How about I said I want to come for the competition. <laughs> He's my set. suit now. No tie. My competition. No tie. No tie. Demera is my family's. The answer. You can't do that. Brady Pub. Fifty-three point nine percent said Brady Pub. Come on, guys. I mean, you know what's good. <laughs> Number one, Brady you Pub. I, I need some more questions because I think I'm gonna win. I would win this because I. <laughs> you would win. I'm, I'm guessing really well. All right, days fans. Which days of our lives newcomer has made the strongest impact? Now, here are your four choices. Carson Bowman. Johnny, good. Raven Bowens, awesome. Chanel, She's good. Yeah. Dan Furigale, EJ, or D, Jack A. Harry as Paulina. Ooh. 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 Oh, come on. Oh, it might have to be Jack A. I, I feel like both you of you have... are number one in our hearts. Right, for sure. Thank but you. Jack A <laughs> is, I mean, she's a favorite. She's, I mean, she's, she's a queen. She's a queen. She's a queen. Jack A. Yeah. Okay, so who do we think? Jack A. Jack A. Oh, Hands no. down, Jack yeah, A. Yeah, Hands say down. Jack a. I said yeah. Carson. Oh. Oh. Jack a. So we're all going with something different. I know. No, I feeling. can't decide. You can't honestly. be right again. It won't be fair. All right, I'm going with Dan. You're going with. I'm going with Raven. You're going with Jack A. Yeah. I'm going with Jack A. Jack A. Playing Paulina. Jack A. <laughs> Is Jack, Jack A. a. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Make me blush. <laughs> Thank you. She's That's a queen. Great. Yes. Fans on Instagram were asked, which day's character would you never want as an enemy? Ooh. And the choices are A, EJ, or B, Kristen. I say Kristen. I'd say Kristen. She's too. a baddie. She's a baddie. EJ. Oh, that bloodline, man. EJ. Weak, 100%. She is a psycho. Oh, I'm gonna say Kristen. Chris, I'm going B. Yeah. Kristen, yeah, Kristen, yeah. 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 unanimous no question. EJ never wore a disguise, right? <laughs> disguise. And it is disguise. Kristen. Yeah. Yeah. 73% said Kristen. Of course, she's nuts. Say, come on, who run the world? Girls. Agreed. Agreed. Love that. I love to hear our fans weigh in. Even better to see how well we know them. Based on those responses, there is clearly still plenty to talk about from this current season. So let's get back into it. Hello, 
good to see you, Days fans. I'm here with a few of my fellow Days castmates, and we have a lot to talk about. All right, I got a question for Nadia. Okay. Uh, given her feelings for both guys, why do you think Chloe made the decision to move forward with Philip and not with Brady? Ooh. It's been a long time coming, and they haven't explored this love triangle, and I don't know. I'm gonna age us now in like 15 years or so. Yeah. It's, it's been a it's been a long time, so. Um, well, you better hope Brady's willing yeah. to stay in your little ping pong match. So, <laughs> it's nice to be in the midst of a ping pong match for once. It's been a while. It's been a while for Chloe. You deserve Chloe it. Chloe spent a lot of years just behind a bar and like pregnant, carrying people's children. <laughs> <laughs> you know, carrying my own, well, carrying careful, sur careful what you wish surrogate for. children, yeah. and everything else. How do you think Brady has been affected by his decision to end his relationship with Kristen? Ah, uh, that's, yeah, that's a rough one. The poor guy's been looking for love for a long time and failing miserably <laughs> at every turn. And I think with Kristen, you can you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. You know, Kristen, please behave yourself. Please don't don't act out. Don't. I won't. I promise. And then she does something crazy. Right. It's like a child. Right. Yeah. Right. But like a child, that's a good point, Brandon. You still love your child, even though they do these infantile, crazy things sometimes. Yeah. So I think he feels horribly that she's acting like this because he wants the relationship to work in the end. All right. Question for Martha. Um, cover your ears, Brandon. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. On social media, fans have commented on the chemistry between Belle and EJ. Oh. I noticed that as well. What? Oh. Can you imagine <laughs> you a world me? where Belle would get involved with Sammy's husband? Well, can I imagine it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Since when does law talk foreplay? I've imagined Jeez. it a few times. No. Um, <clears throat> I think it's. A, I think that there would be a lot of fun story there, especially with yeah. Allie. This is a question oh. for everyone here. Okay. What day's role, other than your own, would you love to play for a day, and why? Ooh, that's a good one. I think I'd want to play Sammy, probably, because oh. she's so bad. She gets all the good stories because she <laughs> because she's uh, her character is allowed to do anything and still and get, get away, away with, with it. it. It's, yeah, it's good to be bad. It's good to be right. bad. Yeah. What right. about you? Yeah. What about you, Brandon? Mm, I don't know. I'd probably say I mean, EJ would be kind of fun, yeah. just because it's completely the opposite of Sean. So. Um, and you get to wear suits all the time. And, uh, <laughs> Once again, be look bad. at us. We want to be bad because yeah, we're so there, good all the time. Wanna, you want to be bad. <laughs> it also be nice to be tall like that. So. <laughs> you are tall. <laughs> yeah, he's like, tall. He's taller we, than we me. We just want to play bad characters, though you have been bad. In the I've past. been really bad. I don't really want to be bad, but I would. I would love to play Kristen Demira. <laughs> I would. Oh, that's a good one. You would look yeah. amazing in that red dress. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> no, so I, I would love to play like the Susan Banks, the alter oh, ego. Okay. I'd I just love to say I'd to like to be that. Susan because I want to wear the teeth. No, I. You think don't want to wear those teeth. No, I. I probably <laughs> would like to be Kate because. Oh yeah. She is bad, but she also looks Her fabulous. Clothes. Yeah, she is bad. Mm. Her, <laughs> Her wardrobe Beautiful. is always insane. Totally. It's amazing, and she does it herself. Brandon, you recently celebrated your 15th anniversary on the days of your debut. It's been 15 man. years. 15 oh years, uh, wow. What did that milestone mean to you? Well, um, I mean, it meant a lot. It was like, you know, the first time around we were here, it's like you, you're you here all the time and you, you create this like this family, this like little, like, this separate little family in your life. And then, um, and then all of a sudden, 15 years later, they're still here. Okay. I have a question for you, Martha. Oh, okay. All right. Belle was one of the prime suspects in Charlie's murder. Mm. Did you ever worry she might actually be the guilty party? I didn't worry. I hoped. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's do this. Um, no, I mean, it was it was a fun story. I loved that they were setting it up in a way that you really didn't know for a minute. And I, yeah, I mean, that's always fun to play. Belle's always gonna be the most unlikely suspect <laughs> of anyone in Salem. So when she's actually maybe doing something yeah. wrong, I think it's very interesting. I mean, it was a great whodunit storyline, that's for sure. Cause right. everybody had motive. And it yeah. was like, well, he could have done it, he could have done it. I, I was lost. I was like, oh my gosh. Totally. Well, like, could it be my wife? <clears throat> did maybe she do it? it's time for Belle to go cuckoo. I don't know. I mean, Belle's not a criminal, but she's a hussy. <laughs> she is. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, don't, I don't want to break the law, but I'll cheat. I'll Let's cheat. Do the EJ thing I'll cheat, first. but don't, I don't want to break the law. <laughs> Belle has a history of <laughs> making some poor 
decisions when it comes to marriage, so uh, I wouldn't want it to come about that way, but I would love to see where that went and how much story that could give us <laughs> all. Just to cover your ears, Brandon. <laughs> well, this was fun, guys. Um, thanks for all your insight, and those are all the questions that we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us here at our virtual Day of Days, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. See ya. So, what should we do this fall season? Say the word and I will romance the hell out of you. Prepare to be wooed. I would do anything for you, you know that. My aunt and my dad are getting married. Let's get this show on the road! <laughs> Your boyfriend was a hitman. You smug son of a bitch. You loser. <laughs> You ask Lonnie to be your maid of honor? Are you seriously asking me out on a date? So let's do this. Let's make a baby. Are you all right, Marlena? Doc, are you okay in there? Sarah is trapped on some remote island. I'm gonna rescue her. Could this dip get any better? Days fans, we're here to answer some questions about the past year on Days of Our Lives. Here's a question right now. What was the most emotional scene you had to play this season? Um, I guess it would be the scene where Brady says you can't be with Kristen anymore. It was pretty devastating. So that was yeah. That was emotional. Mm. Wow. I feel like I'm crying every day. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I guess the ones that have just aired would be Oh, the, the the dream sequence that Gwen has with her father where he says, get out of my house, and he yells at her, and then she ends up saying that she's a hooker. Well, for me, it's, um, I know when we talk about emotions, it's usually like, you know, crying or, or angry or, or something like that. But the, the most emotional scene I feel I've played recently was the stuff, the fallout of the stuff with Nicole. Um, it was the first time I'd ever got to play like a proper, like, grown-up, you know, sexual, um, mm. but you know what I mean, like in, in a serious way, and kind of like, here's two grown-ups who have just had sex together mm. with a lot of history. And so it wasn't like the most extreme emotions, but it was the most emotionally complicated. Honest. You know I mean? Yeah. yeah there you Honest. Go. The second question is, Yes. do you ever battle nerves before taping a big scene, and how do you manage them? Absolutely oh, not. Nice. Never you do never that. Get no. I'm no. joking. That's all I ever do. I'm well, nervous I'm, every I'm time I do a oh, scene. Of course. <laughs> but I think that's good. We use that's it, all right? The juices. Yes, you yes. Just, you the energy is flowing. Yeah, you better. Yeah. Until I know when I first started on the show, words. I was so nervous. <laughs> and, and the partner that I, he said, use it because you're going to be nervous. Yeah. Yeah. And it's true. What's the most challenging? Playing Kristen, playing Susan, playing Kristen, playing Susan, or playing Susan, playing Kristen? <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> wow, yes. Okay. That was complicated right there. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, I was like that. waiting for that. Yes. Kristen is a little bit harder for me because she's uh, always spontaneous and she always has the right things to say. And Susan, she's easier, but she's all over the place. And so it's just finding her essence. And sometimes I. I get exhausted with her because she's just overwhelming and the energy that she puts out is is just... I'll lose care. Yeah, and you got to keep yeah. going and going yeah. and there's some days that I just don't have the energy, mm. but then as soon as I put on her outfit, I get into it, it yeah. just comes up. Okay, so Emily, darling, <laughs> yes, love, do you think Gwen is capable of having a healthy, romantic relationship with Santa? <gasps> do tell. Romantic relationship, yes. But healthy. <laughs> <laughs> healthy. I think they both have a lot to work out, personally. Right now, it seems like it could be a great idea to have these two outcast kind of misanthropes together. <laughs> but ultimately, somebody's going to make a mistake, right? Whether it would be Somebody. Gwen or Xander. Oh, uh, I have a question for Suzanne. <laughs> okay. Uh, how would you say Maggie has changed over the years of her being a sailor? Well, she started out on a farm, 
on crutches. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh my. And what's a good thing? I was a dancer and I was coordinated because right. they wouldn't let me use a wheelchair. Um, then she got operated on and got well, and she became uh, sort of a pillar of the community. I think she's lovable. I think people like her. And I think the characters, especially the younger characters, like to go and ask for her advice. And that's all the time we have. Thank you guys for tuning in to Day of Days, and make sure you tune in to Days of Our Lives. Yes. Every day. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Dan, how you doing, man? I'm doing very well. How very are you? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for joining Ari on Day of Days. Thank you very much. It's very happy to be here. Yeah, thank you for joining just me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I'm dying to know, though? What is the best part of being an actor on Days of Our Lives? Ooh. Mm, good question. The best part about being an actor on Days is the people involved. The crew, the production, the uh, fellow castmates, and, of course, the fans out there. That's the best part about being on this show. I definitely would have. That is a wonderful answer. Yeah, we got we got good people here at Days of Our Lives, and I think it would be awesome for our fans to actually see what a day on Days of Days of Our Lives would be like, right? Uh, yes. Good idea? Absolutely. It's a great idea. So let's take a look. Good morning, everybody. I know it's kind of, it's still dark outside. It is time to start the work day. I'm excited to take you on this journey with me today. Um, get ready. It's going to be fun. My preparation for coming to work definitely starts the, the night before with just, you know, going over my material, which usually I, I kind of work on my, my material throughout the week. So the, the night before, I get to really go in, in depth of like everything that I'm working on, just mentally preparing myself, um, especially if I have like sad scenes, um, I kind of try to get myself into the story that way I kind of sleep on it and then I, I wake up with it and then depending on my call time I I'm a very routine person <laughs> so I, I like to have like my rituals in the morning so I wake up I make my bed I do all my like hygienic stuff <laughs> um, making my tea and just things I, I try to do things that make myself feel good um, before coming to work and just ground it um, and then I leave for work. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> okay, so then after hair and makeup, I may have a wardrobe fitting, so I'll check in with Richard and Jen, and we, we kind of go through Lonnie's wardrobe and see, you know, what, what we're filming that day, uh, what, is she working, is she being cute with her husband or with the kids, and we kind of decide on wardrobe then I will run lines. I'll go over my lines, either working with Lamone, James Reynolds, whoever my scenes are with, uh, sometimes with Maria, our acting coach. Um, it's a lot that goes into the whole process of getting myself ready to be here on set and prepared and ready. The pace of this show is out of this world, like the dialogue. I mean, there's been times when I've had like 20 scenes. That is gnarly for how quick we were, because those 20 scenes, we're shooting it <laughs> in less than an hour. So imagine like how much dialogue you need to learn. So you, there's so much that you're thinking and trying to put into one little scene and then you have 20 of them versus like a normal nighttime show, you know, you're probably doing that one scene for the whole week. The most fun part about being on a day set is you know, honestly, working with my coworkers, I love everyone. I love all of my coworkers. I truly believe that we have one of the best cast. The process from Lonnie to Sal now today is a lot more uh, just seamless, just effortless, um, because I, I truly know her now. I think in the beginning, I would struggle a lot with like, okay, who is Lonnie? Who is Sal? But now it's like, I know them both very well and I merge them together. And there's a lot of Sal that's Lonnie, there's a lot of Lonnie that's Sal, and I kind of just blend the two together. Um, so it, I'm, I'm able to just go right into her. Um, you know, a big moment that I always think of is the, the David Abraham story when Lonnie lost her, her son. 
um, because during that time, I lost my grandmother while we were filming that, and that was a very, whew, very challenging but beautiful time for me because I was able to kind of incorporate it. Being on days and being a part of the Carver family is so special to me. I was, Lonnie was brought on uh, for James Reynolds and uh, you know she came to Salem looking for her dad and I got to establish this amazing relationship with James Reynolds and I love that man. He is Oh my, oh, he is just a legend. He is the most purest soul. I call him my Papa James because he is, he, he's, my, he's my dad, you know? And um, he's just so wonderful. And the fact that I get to be here to uplift him, to, you know, shine light on him, shine light on his story is super special to me. And to be a part of the Carver family, I'm just happy that James has kept it going for us to give me that door to come through and then we keep doing it for generations and more generations okay guys i am officially officially done your girl has been up since the crack of dawn and i am done um so now i'm gonna head back downstairs get into my own wardrobe and head home <laughs> Hi, Days of Our Lives fans. Let's talk a little bit about what goes on. What goes on behind the scenes at Days of Our Lives. What is your process for memorizing life? Oh, that's my process. It's very simple, it's been going on forever. I do it the night before, I need to be laying in bed and I by rote memorize everything if it takes till two in the morning. That's my process. Mm -hmm. Sticking with it. Okay, I have a question for you too. Okay. Between the two of us, who is the most eager to rehearse and who is the most unpredictable once the cameras are rolling? First of all, <laughs> yes. we're both pretty eager to rehearse. Yes. Both these things make us a really good team. This That's why so we're true. a good team. Because we're both eager to rehearse. That's right. And when we go, we both let it fly. You first joined Days in 1977. I know. Oh my gosh, it's Chris Kosicek. Um, How did your life change after you got the role? Oh, <laughs> mercy. Really? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, yeah, I mean, I love Chris Kosicek because of that. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I mean, my life changed. Me, I was having, I was doing okay, mm -hmm. and then once I did Chris Kosicek, and and I, I made him a blue jean character because there wasn't one. I love one. it. There <laughs> wasn't one on days. And All right. Actually, that was my suggestion, and it exploded, you know. And uh, I literally my entire life changed and hasn't stopped changing from then on. Well, can I ask you a question? Yes. Would Kate have really liked Chris Kosicek too? Oh yeah. Okay. Kate would have liked Chris. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my, good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, what do you most remember about your audition for the role of Kate? Um, probably the fact that I did it twice. I mean, two completely different auditions. The first one I did with Louise, you know, who, mm -hmm. of course, who plays uh, Vivian, and it. They wanted to see a softer side because I, at the time, I remember talking to Louise, and she said, "This is really important. Like, we have to, you have to be really strong here and tough." Because they had that whole rivalry thing that was going in. I was like, "Okay, fine, I can do that." And I guess I was a little too strong, so they wanted to see a, a softer side. And I ended up doing another whole um, audition a test with, um, uh, with so it was Kate and Victor together. And uh, I remember picking out a light pink suit <laughs> and being very soft. Which of Kate's many, oh man. Uh-oh. Which of Kate's many rivalries, romantic and otherwise, has been the most entertaining to play? Wow. Romantic, you gotta go down a long list. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Well, so would you. But come on. <laughs> 
Does it say romantic and? and? Uh, you're a little pressured here. I have a lot. You're but a little sitting next I year. think I'm going to avoid the romantic <laughs> ones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although we have certainly have had the most up and downs and the most yes, long lasting one. That's for, mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, there's so many memories. I mean, going back to that first time yeah. when they put us together in the elevator. Do you remember right. that one? Yeah. That one's kind of an infamous one. I mean, yeah. I heard that they got a lot of comments on yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, fun. that was that was really pretty amazing. I mean, it, I, I tell you truthfully, it's really hard to even come up with one because almost all of those type of stories have intertwined so mm -hmm. much as well. And there's right. been so many people involved in characters that I couldn't possibly choose. Josh, what was your reaction when you found out that Roman would be courting Kate again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Absolutely. I think right? I jumped up and down, ran around the clock. <laughs> they teased with it time to time along the way, and we'd flirt a little bit and do That's this right. and do that. So uh, it was kind of fun when we could uh, That's right. extend it. That's true. Stay tuned. That was amazing. Even I learned something on that one. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Yeah, let's take a look at this. What's up, Days fans? We are gonna chat a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes at Days of Our Lives. Marcy? Yes? Let's get into some fan questions. Okay. Of the two of you, who is the more likely to flub a line? Flub a line? Mm. Is that, is that kind of like a toss-up or you? It's either a toss-up or it's you. <laughs> Hold on a second. It's either a toss-up or it's me? I, so either way, it's me? It's, it's both of us, in my Next opinion. question. <laughs> but you're right. For each of you, what was the most challenging thing about assuming a role someone else previously played? Why don't you take this one? This well, time? I will tell you what the most challenging part was. The person who played the part before me was 6'6", six, six, and looked on, like a model. Now. So Come that on. was not fun. He's a hunk. Tell him he's a hunk, folks. Come on, no. Yes, bring it. <laughs> Fishing. Yeah, I don't think it bothered me so much that it, it wasn't so much that it was being played by somebody else so much as just this whole thing in general, these lights and these cameras and these people were all staring at me on a regular basis. That doesn't answer the question. Well, I, I don't think I was bothered so much okay. by the fact that someone else played it. It's been just over seven years since you assumed the role of chat. Did you know it had been seven years? Yeah, that's cool. I heard. That's cool. What's the biggest acting lesson your time in Salem has taught you? Probably just have fun. Like, it's not all that... Don't take it all so seriously. Mm -hmm. I think in the beginning I did, and it, it, it just... It either leads to being incredibly unsatisfied with your work, or, or like, you know, pushing in certain ways that you don't really want to, and, and then you're not satisfied with that. And it's, it's less fun. I just have more fun than that. Mm -hmm. I have a question. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna go off the cards here. Okay. That's what I want to know. What was your first thought or reaction when you met your beautiful daughter, Willie? Oh my for the first time. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've delivered a couple babies of ours on <laughs> on the show here. Yeah. No, but what was what was the first thing? Tell me about that experience. It is the most surreal moment of your entire life. I mean, you're just oh, overwhelming love, overwhelmed with like just being a human being and what this is and what it means. Like, it's how do you put it into words? I feel like it's been inexplicable for centuries. Just like, I just want to, to completely envelop her every moment and I just, with every cell of my body, I just want to love her with every part of myself all the time, yeah. <laughs> in real life, you're very close with Sal Stowers, who plays Lonnie, and you've even stayed in her home. How did you go from coworkers to friends? I was so natural, honestly. I mean, it just, I think at one point she came up behind me and just said, I want to be friends with you, basically, you know, and we just sort of, through being here over time, we started hanging out back, you know, back when we got to like hang out in each other's dressing rooms and all that junk and we started having lunch and yeah, just over time, it just happened and Sal is Sal, so it's like, I would just sit in front of her, you're just, you, you, she has you, you know what I mean? She's just like this incredible human being and I, I had, 
I was head over heels pretty instantly. You got into drag on the day's spinoff Beyond Salem for Peacock. What was your reaction when you first saw yourself all dolled up? I felt absolutely beautiful. I felt like empowered. I didn't, I didn't like, it, it was, um, as soon as I saw myself in drag, like all of the insecurities that I have as Billy went away. And I just had a, I had a, I had a blast and all the extras were amazing. Um, and being with, uh, with Chandler and Zach uh, dressed up was a lot of fun. I love RuPaul's Drag Race. Jeannie and I watch it, my wife, all the time. And um, so it was like a bucket list to, to mm -hmm. dress up and drag. But I, I legitimately didn't think I would look as, as pretty. The, the, the mm -hmm. makeup artist, Glenn Allen, literally transformed my entire face, gave me like new bone structure I never thought I had. Gorgeous, you were yeah. gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Bill, I think that's all the time we got. What, you wanna, what do you wanna do? You wanna go, you wanna grab a coffee? You wanna sit outside? What do you wanna do? Whatever you want to do. Whatever I want to do. It's called the Alamanian Peacock. And it was stolen in 1991. Their gems have fallen into the wrong hands. God helps those who help themselves. Who are you supposed to be? here today to talk about what it's like to be a part of the day's cast. What is your most vivid memory of your first day working at Days? Uh, first day was uh, was uh, actually pretty exciting. I kind of uh, had fun because I wasn't supposed to be here. I, I had closed down a series at CBS and nobody wanted to see me and they called me in really at the very last minute. They saw I think over 100 people wow. and uh, somebody else actually had the role. And they, uh, my agent had said, just take a look. And they did. And well, there I that's was. Their Friday, laws Friday night, I got oh, it. Yeah. Monday morning, I started. Boom. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's that. vivid. Now you're a legend. There you go. Yeah. 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 Days is where I, I started. Um, just, you know, a couple, couple lines, you know, many, many years ago. So coming back, kind of, you know, coming around full circle, being around, you know, coming to the same makeup room and seeing some of the faces that I had seen the first time. It was very surreal, especially seeing um, Christian Alfonso mm -hmm. play, uh, mm -hmm. played uh, Hope. Yeah, it was surreal. Yeah, so you've done soaps, you've done primetime, Broadway, movies. So which is the most challenging? This one. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so much, you have so much content and you have to do it a lot of content in a short amount of time. It's very fast and it's constant, and you got to get up. What time we get here? Five forty-five. Some. I think my first yeah. day was five forty-five. Yeah. I was miserable. <laughs> I had fifty pages or something. I, I, I panicked. But thank God, you know, I was never nervous. Everybody thinks I was nervous. No, I was nervous that I wasn't going to do well. So, Lamone, what is the biggest misconception that people have about? working on days of our lives. I don't know about days, but I would say soaps in general. Mm -hmm. um, you know, th I think one of the misconceptions is, is that, you know, we just come in here and we just- Recite spew, lines. Yeah, you just spew some words out of your mouth and, and that's it. Um, but there's just so much, so much work that goes into it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a lot of work, it's hard work and it's something that we all take serious. You yeah, know, we work it, hard yeah. here. We work very hard. Yeah. People don't realize you go home and you work. James, mm -hmm. would you tell, uh, tell us some of your mentors here mm -hmm. at Days? Well, you know, uh, we work with uh, Bill and Susan Hayes all the time. And Bill in particular was uh, an early mentor of mine. I, you know, some of my first scenes mm -hmm. were with Bill Hayes. And the uh, thing about Bill, which is very interesting, is that he brings just a lot of joy to what yeah, he does. He does. He does. I think that's what everybody yeah, does for each generation of this show is they kind of lift each other up and, you know, help each person along. So if things aren't going well, I'm going to, go, you know, be there for you and say, you know, it's okay. Yes. Not to worry. And I, I think we all mean it. I think we yeah. all mean it when we say, oh, yeah. that's okay. Don't worry. We'll get it. How did you prepare for your scenes, your birth scenes with Lonnie? I've never, I, I'm not a mother, so I, I do not know what it's like to give birth to a child. Um, I can only imagine what it would be like. And thankfully, you know, Janet, our producer, and Mary Beth, they were, they were all there to kind of help me. 
Um, but I just kind of went into that natural, like, I guess kind of mother instinct we all women have and was just like, okay, push a baby out. What? You know? <laughs> push um, it out, push it out. Yeah, just kind of think, feeling like, you know, what it would like, what it would be like to be a mother and to go into labor and, you know, I just kind of use that. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you guys. And thank you, Days fans, for joining us today at Day of Days. We love and appreciate you guys all so much. And we'll see you next year. You know, I work with those folks all the time. And even I learned something new. Right? I know. Mm -hmm. And me too. Now, we watch Days for the story. But let's be honest. We love days for the relationships, don't we? Mm, yes, we yeah. do. And in just a bit, the cast is going to dig into the romance and drama that we love. Mm -hmm. And do not forget super couples trivia, Ari. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> yes, it is. But let's get started with something a little steamy. Ooh, take a shower? A look at, <laughs> a look at some of our couples and their iconic kisses through day's history. Oh, hey, we, we've, we've had some. Uh, do you think yeah. we're going to be in there? Um, I, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Hmm. We're gonna do this again? Yeah, I guess we are. Oh. Keep me busy while I'm waiting for you. Oh no. Uh -uh. I said I can handle it. Oh, you did? And I can. Sure, you can. Now, will you believe me when I tell you I'm over your sister? to start, but I think I might need a little more convincing. Fans, I'm Eric Martsoff, and this is Super Couple Game. It's a super couple <laughs> game. It's where we find out who exactly knows one another as far as couples are concerned and who deserves the title to be a super couple. We're gonna find out today yes. with a series of questions. Let's get this thing started. Now, our first couple, you know them. This is Billy and Marcy. How are you guys doing? Thank you, Doc. Fantastic. AKA. Chabby. Oh, Chabby. Oh, Chabby. <laughs> Chabby to the left. Thank and to the be. right, we have the lovely Mary Beth and Mr. Stephen Nichols. Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing? Great. Fabulous. How are you doing? Eric? I'm doing great. Cool. I'm doing great. <laughs> You're looking good. Thanks, man. I'm trying my best. Okay, so here's the deal. Yeah. We're going to start with a question for the ladies because ladies go first. Okay. So here we go. Who said, I love you first? We start with Mary Beth. What's your answer? Who said, I love you first? I think I did. Stephen said, 
Steven is correct. Yay! Oh, that's a chippy. Oh my God! Wow. Okay. Off to the races. Hey, yes. no pressure. That's a good start. Fifty-fifty. Okay. It is a coin toss here. It's so. Fifty-fifty. Marcy, <laughs> they yep. threw in a real kiss too. We gotta stay. <laughs> You're more than welcome to kiss. It is a super couple game. Well. I said me. Yeah. Flat one. Woo! Uh, wow. Okay, Tight race tie, here. We are tie. one for Ooh. one. Okay. Right, we have a tie game right. here. So okay. let's go right into question two. Let's not waste any more time. Yes. For the gentlemen. Yes. We're gonna start with you, Stephen. Mm -hmm. Who got more emotional at your many weddings, you or your spouse? Who got more emotional? It's a tough one. I, we both did, but maybe I might have to say. Yeah! <laughs> she got it right. Him. <laughs> well, you guys are yes! very good. You guys yes! are good. Yeah! Very, very good. Been at it for a while. I'm Same vocal. question, Billy. I think I'm rooting for him. Yeah. Billy, yeah. who got more emotional at your wedding? Was it you or was it her? 100 percent me. 100%. I said near tie, but maybe spouse. Near tie. Oh, yeah. 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 We're gonna accept that. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. accept that. That's exactly I'll break and I make the response. I'm just gonna straddle we both sides. We were in near tie yeah. too. In the future, we take one word answers. Okay, Marcy. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's got a whole like paragraph. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, according to my calculations. So. Okay. All right. Question number three. This is for the girls. Mm -hmm. Who is your husband's best friend? Speak of confusion. Um. Who is your husband? Well, you know, uh, friend and enemy. Uh, oh, well, we'll all say John Black. Anyway, they're in business together. John Black. Steven said Yay! John Black of Black Patch. John Very Black specific. of Black Patch. That's right. Ah. My partner. Black uh, Patch Incorporated. Okay. Mm. I'll right. let it slide because is it's such a male company? friendship. Black yeah. Patch. Who is your husband's Keep best friend? Um, Will. Me. I didn't Look know he had any friends. <laughs> I didn't know he had any friends. Me. Billy said Sonny. Uh, Sonny. Oh, Sonny. Ooh, we, just, oh my gosh. we just pulled the head. Okay, we got two more questions for these potential super couple <laughs> people. This is actually for the gents. What is the most exotic place you've traveled together? Billy, we'll go to you first. Hmm. <laughs> I am going to say Shannon Abbey in Paris. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, oh. they did go to Paris. That's wow, pretty was, Paris. Was that on location? Yes. No. <laughs> Marcy, was... what was your answer? Embarrassed. You're embarrassed about yeah. it? <laughs> what did you Show do? Us, Marcy. Did you what did you do? Show it. Show it. <laughs> the jungle! <laughs> <laughs> they bungled in the jungle? <laughs> the jungle. Somebody take out my I mic. Love it. Somebody take this thing off. Bill, you're I knew sit I down. wouldn't get it right, you so to I just took this. Like, I'm gonna take it on the chin. <laughs> the jungle? I, that's that's the Paul marriage. was running around hitting people on the head. <laughs> and you weren't even there. Punishing myself enough as it is, just Who, know. You were never at the jungle. I know. Marcy's defense, the jungle is exotic. You don't remember <laughs> Chad it. and Abby in Paris? No, I know, I know. I almost wrote that, but yeah, I was not there. This sounds like the that marriage breaker. Yeah. But I knew, almost wrote yeah, that Yeah, we're all gonna be broken up by the end of this Paris is not exotic. Thank you, Tarzan and Jane. Let's let this beautiful super couple win. What's the most exotic place you've traveled together? As a couple. Uh, as a couple on been, the show. We've been, the very, show. been very few places. Uh, I would have to say uh, Stockholm. That's pretty exotic, isn't it? Heck yeah, what'd you say? Stockholm, Yay! sweet! We've only, been, we've only been in two places. Oh, these kids are good. Yeah, good. Well done. I've only been in two places. But we have one more question. Oh, you didn't get my height. One more, you didn't one, get more, my height. one more, one more, one okay. more. Let's hate. Oh, there's more? Let's go out with a bang there, Chabby. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, for the ladies, Marcy Miller. Who has tried the hardest Break you up. Oh, oh goodness. It's been a few, huh? Yeah. Let's say Gwen. Gwen. I said Gwen. <laughs> you said Gwen! Yay! 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 Yeah! Okay. Sweet. Not bad. Okay. Good job, guys. Thank you. Mary Beth, same question. Who has tried the hardest to break you up? Uh, well, there's only one particular person. That's Ava. Gotta the be tally. Ava. Give me that Ava. Card. Crazy Ava. Yeah. Off yeah. 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 the Vitale. Great job. Are we tied? No, Can you I won. won. Well, we won. Well, maybe. They won. Yeah. They yeah. are. Yeah. We only won because we're old. <laughs> <laughs> Stela are the super couple of the moment. Yeah. But one Stayla. would argue that Chabby is. Right behind. Chabby. Right behind. Right 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 let's Good have job. a next year rematch. Well, these couples are clearly meant to be, but the lines between friendship and romance get pretty blurry 
for the characters played by our next cast members. Let's see if they can help us untangle where their hearts lie. Hi, Days fans. Uh, today we are going to talk about a little thing called love. We're going to talk about the romance and relationships of Days of Our Lives. All right, you're among the newest additions to Days. How nervous were each of you for your first kissing scene? Oh. <laughs> well, me, my first kissing scene was with you, was and it was in the first 10 minutes of being at work, or even less. Yeah. And that was actually my first kissing scene ever in life. Uh, so I was pretty nervous. Uh, we kind of killed it. We did though. We really did. It looks so good. It does look good. I was like, All right, I can feel the heat. I, I went and knocked on Raven's door. I was like, Hey, are there any like do's and don'ts? Like I don't want to be like. You remember that? Yep. I don't any do's like, and don'ts. You know, I don't want to like, like make you feel uncomfortable or anything. And yeah. she was like, Just. Just do it. I had that question though. I think I asked it to you because I was like, do we kiss on rehearsal? And you were yeah. like, no. No, I was like, usually not. <laughs> I was like, no. And I was like, oh, okay, I just didn't know. I was gonna like go in for it and well, then have you be like, whoa. Well, because we had that one time you did go in for the rehearsal because oh, yeah. we weren't we didn't know we were recording on yeah. and I just like I just turned forgot. to the last second and she goes, <laughs> I was like, wait, what? what did I do? I was like, do it. I was like, I've never seen me kiss someone on camera. So mm. I was like, I don't know how it looks. Yeah. Mm. Not even just like as a photo or something like right. that. So I was like, oh, Or like I, how they're like, kiss left. That, and you're like, what? Well, not even that. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like so I was more nervous. So I was like, I think it's going to look bad. And I have no idea how I can look at it. All right, so what soap opera trope would you most love to play? I feel like another trope is like playing someone else. Yeah. yeah. But as yourself. And I feel like that's a really fun yeah. one. Yeah. And I would, I feel like I'd want to do that one because you kind of, which we kind of, do on this show sometimes too. So I'm like, that would be really fun to be able to do that. Yeah, um, like playing your evil twin. Right, yeah. 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 I would like want to call that. That would be fun. Somehow you have an accent from like some like secluded yeah. place yeah. you never heard of before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 that would be really fun. You don't remember me. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> you know? exactly. Yeah, that'd be fun. I want to yeah. wake up with like psychic powers. Ooh. And then just be able to read everyone's mind. Yeah. And just start like, a bunch is that a trope? Like now we're I don't know. I'm making it up. I'm making it up. Like Marvel. Adding Adding Marvel. That's, like, that's, like, that's, like, that's like what women want like yeah. with Mel yeah. Gibson. Mel Gibson. Yeah, that'd be really fun too. Yeah. Speaking of romance, mm. you're newly engaged in real life. Did uh, anyone on Days know you were proposing before you did? And who was the first person at Days you told after your fiance said yes? You were, you were, like, you were one of the first ones. You were, you were one of the first people I told because yeah. we were out to eat and then you and Victoria kind of got it out of me because y'all kept asking me when I was going to propose. Right. <laughs> yeah, we called you. Like the day after. The day after. Yeah. Yeah, so that, and and I on, it was on, yeah, it was on the drive. I it was on the drive home. in my so apartment. They knew that I was, they knew I was going to do it, but they didn't know exactly when. Yeah. And so I just yeah. was like, yeah, have an idea. Because you didn't tell me you were doing it when you were doing it. Yeah. It was my sister sending me your post saying, I'm crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> we're like, all crying. I well, love him. I appreciate it. So <laughs> oh, I like this one. In real life, you're a newlywed. Who is more romantic, you or Johnny? Johnny. <laughs> the swift answer. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry, Juana. Um, yeah, Johnny, definitely. I, I, I got to work on that. What has been the biggest challenge of handling the doll that plays baby <laughs> Henry? Uh, that's what I was reading while I go. Because everyone knows that I really don't like that baby doll. And I. It's, a, cre it's a creepy it's doll. It's a creepy for the doll. Record. I can't explain how creepy this doll is. And it's really not cute. So I think the hardest challenge is just acting like I like it. You know what I have to hold it. Like, literally before the scene starts, I'll be like, you're so ugly. And then I'll just be like, oh, my baby, how are you? He has so, like one piece of hair. He's no, so it's just, it has like, it has like three different almost wigs. Yeah. It's like, it's like, yeah. it's different styles of hair. Pens. on. They're like, they're like, yeah. And the scary guys. doll that's like, she got spider legs in Toy Story. Yeah. yeah. And it then looks, oh, yeah, it is a yeah. lot like that doll. Yes, but it still has like, its body right now. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't I give you a cute now. doll? Like, the, the is, first, that, is that doll the most there's, cute? There's two different ones. This is the older one. This is the older one. The first doll I had was honestly kind of cute, and then they surprised me, and I picked up the blanket one day, and it was this new <laughs> doll. And I literally was like, ah! I was like, what is that? Yeah. Oh, when no. did it this was like happen? A, it's like a little Chucky doll. I was like, yeah, I was like, bring back the old doll. What is this? Who is this? What happened to the old doll? I think The old doll was like the infant one. Yeah, and it was too tiny. Yeah. Or something like that. And you never see the <sighs> older one anyway. It's, so, yeah. always, it's always in the stroller. I know. <laughs> bring back the cute doll. Hashtag bring back the cute doll. <laughs> she'll just like do it. Before, <laughs> before, before a scene, she'll just look at it and just go. Uh, bring back real just Henry. Just put it back in. 
Yeah. Can't believe I birthed you. <laughs> Chanel just opened her bakery, Sweet Bits. Mm -hmm. How would you rate your own kitchen skills? Fire. I'm great. I'm yeah? Good. She's pretty good. No, I'm not. I would. I, I'm not a baker. I can't bake for okay. anything because it's too precise, and uh -huh. I'm not with the precision. I'm like with the <laughs> flavors. Like yeah. I like flavors. So it's like if I make something, it's gonna be very flavorful. Baking, that's questionable. But okay. Chanel's inspiring me. Sometimes she talks about certain things. Like the other day, I had to say something about some like. Uh, caramel brittle oat milk cookie or something like that. And I was Ooh. like, why does that sound so good? Like, <laughs> so I was like, like oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, thank you guys so much for tuning into this panel. And I hope you guys are enjoying our little virtual day of days. Keep watching, there's a lot of good stuff to come, so stay tuned. You can grab a bottle of champagne and then go upstairs. What do you say? What if our child really does end up evil? Welcome back, Days fans. We are here to talk about romance. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Miss Victoria. Yes. Would you like to see Ben and Sierra become parents? I think that they both have very nurturing and loving sides to them, and together they are definitely a power couple, so I think that they would be a power parent, parent duo. Yeah. Power parent. Power parent. Power parent duo. I think duo. they would be power parents. I think so too. So Rob, what yes. is your all-time favorite sin moment? Man, my favorite sin moment? I don't know. I really like when you save them from that last lethal injection, man. Mm. I think that's going to go down in history for a while. When you kidnapped Sierra from Theo's wedding. Oh, that was that's so fun. That's badass. That as was hell. so fun. Yeah, that I is love definitely that. one of the top ones. We got the limo. Your limo, you your little grin, hat. your little hat, and little I'm all hat. like, "What's going on?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah. was another one. We've had we've had some pretty good ones. Because ordinarily that would have been considered, you know, borderline psychotic kidnapping, kidnapping someone from yeah, your wedding. But, but we made you it somehow sold it. Yeah, we made Try. it romantic and it, we sold it. It was good. Rob. Yes. What would you say was the most emotionally challenging scene or storyline you've played as Ben? Probably from his breakdown. I mean, he's had a lot of crazy moments. So the original yeah. first one, I would say, when he did the whole, um, you know, uh, he told the truth to his father about killing Will and what he had been doing. That was the first bit. But then the second bit would be the whole story with, with Miss Sierra and his redemption and losing his sister. And I mean, there's been a lot. Just everything. In the, uh, Your entire... Yeah, Repertoire the world of, of Ben work. is just an emotionally challenged man. So yeah. uh, I'm really grateful for that. I like, <laughs> I like it. But um, between that one and the loss of Jordan and yeah. dying on the bed and you saving him, I mean, we had a lot. We had some moments go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's a very challenged man. Mm. You took home the daytime Emmy for Outstanding Younger Actress this year. I did. What did that win mean to you? Um. It, it meant a lot to my younger self. Like I, over the course of winning and the few weeks after and you know, from being nominated up until the actual ceremony, it was just a nod to where I came from, a nod to my hometown and, and you know, to my family, to you know, my parents who always knew that succeeding in this career was a massive dream of mine. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's paying homage to the little 10 year olds who had no idea that I was gonna be where I am right now. So Paper Magazine worked with us to recreate the epic cover of Susan and Bill Hayes on the cover of Time in 1976. Mm -hmm. And we were lucky enough to do that on our own. So what was that experience like for you? That experience was crazy. Um, first of all, I didn't even realize that that was Bill and Susan Hayes until someone had told me. My mind me. was blown. And, blown. Then, and then I was like, of course it is. Right, of course you know? it is. And you know, that, Time cover is hanging up in the hallway in the um, building, and I see it every day. Never put two and two together. Such an iconic couple, such an iconic cover. Mm -hmm. Time magazine, uh -huh. paper is iconic. We're iconic because it's of it. Honestly, it's a, it's a whole. It's the whole thing is just iconic. Um, Richard, our wardrobe designer, had remade the dress from scratch. He sewed it from from nothing. Um, so that was really fun, how much time and effort and care that they put into the shoot. They really, really put their best, best foot forward, and, and, so. and so did we, I think. I think it was um, really fun working with your friend Katie. 
that so, was really yeah. fun. The fact that you knew her mm -hmm. kind of brought everything full circle and it made it a lot less intimidating because sure. watching your camaraderie made me feel like, okay, yeah, this is this is a safe space. This isn't like Without paper magazine. We did it here, actually. This is where we shot it. Oh, yeah, we did. Right there, there and then on the chair oh, yeah. and then so on the did, stairs we did over the cover, there. We did the cover and then, yeah. you know, then we like sinned it up and like spiced it all <laughs> up and we, did our, and we did our own thing. Well, that is all the questions that we have for now. Thank you so much for watching and tuning into this virtual Day of Days event. Hopefully we will see you next year. We'll see you next year. <laughs> More sin moments. <laughs> Through love and loss and everything in between, can you believe Days of Our Lives has been with us for 56 years? Oh, hardly. I mean, that's over 14,000 episodes now. That's right, you mathematician, you. Thank you. It's only fitting that we spend the rest of our time looking back on some of our most memorable days moments. And who better to begin our walk down memory lane than our beloved Deidre, Deidre Hall. Hall. Deidre! If you've been keeping up with what's going on in Salem, you'll know that Marlena was recently possessed by the devil. But did you know this isn't the first time that Marlena has danced with the devil? Let's take a look back at a classic storyline from 1994. The first time Marlena was possessed was in 1994, and it was a storyline written by Jim Riley, who was a devout Catholic and wrote a stunning, stunning story that shocked our audience, and by the way, brought in a very young audience. What I will say about those days is, is it was as shocking as it could have been in 1994. We had all been uh, aware that there were all kinds of peculiar things going on in Salem. Uh, Christmas presents were bursting into flames and this and that was happening. Um, and I got called upstairs before our Christmas break and it was uh, uh, our executive producer who explained to me that Marlena was the one who was doing it, that she was possessed by the devil. And at that point, um, my only real concern was that we do it with great special effects and with everything we had at our disposal, we tell that story in the biggest way that we can. Marlena was possessed the first time because her defenses were down. She was utterly exhausted and vulnerable. And um, so she was an easy target for, uh, for the devil. It was Christmas Eve in Salem and everybody was in church and they were singing and singing and Marlena who wasn't feeling well was home alone. And um, at the strike of midnight, she levitated off the bed. That, that is the definition of, of possession. Um, it was a startling moment and um, deeply moving for the audience. I'm not allowed to tell you how she levitated, but it was not a camera stunt. I actually came right off that bed. The levitation uh, that we do uh, this year is, is very similar to the one that we did 25 years ago. As I said, literally, I'm lifting off the bed. This year, it's a little more startling because we had a lot of special effects. We had, you know, huge wind machines and, and lighting effects. And at one point, um, I get hit with some holy water and my arm catches fire. It will be a, a lot more terrifying this time. You know, we ask a lot of the audience uh, when we do a storyline like this. We ask them to believe that, um, that it can happen, that it has happened, and also to believe that, that they are safe in our hands in the way we tell the storyline. That was important to me, and, and I think Days of Our Lives has done a brilliant job of always uh, being true to our obligation in that way. When we told uh, the possession story in 1994, I knew it was in good hands because of Jim Riley and his, his devotion to his faith. I share that faith with him, and I've got a deep and abiding faith in God and belief in God, and also I think that he probably has a great sense of humor. The first time we did it in 94, we actually had a priest that had come and blessed the set. I was given holy water, and, and Drake and I would actually pray before we did those scenes. This time, Ken Gorday had sent me uh, a, a bag of actual holy water and a crucifix and uh, uh, different things that I had with me at all times. And this is um, uh, actual uh, holy water from Lourdes that um, I brought on stage every day. And uh, before we began scenes uh, for 
this year's uh, possession, um, I took the holy water on stage and um, shared it with anybody who felt like having some. And I, I think to the person, everybody said yes. Why does the devil like Marlena? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think, I think probably she's a challenge. You know, she is so uh, straight and true and honorable and, and uh, uh, that, uh, you know, if you, can, if you can get to Marlena, you can get just about anybody. And as you'll see in the way the storyline plays out, um, Marlena uh, accepts the devil to protect someone she loves from being killed. So it, it's, uh, I, I hesitate to say it's, it's an, a voluntary possession, but um, you see her, her, uh, her goodness come through, and that's the price she pays for it. Do I think the devil is somewhere in Salem? I'm mm -hmm. wondering if we just made a baby. <laughs> the devil is all over Salem. Good to see you, Days fans. We just want to say thank you for all your support all these years. And we're here to share some beautiful memories from our many, many years on the show. Many, many How many years. for you? 35. Five. 35 and 36 It was 35 in May. Okay, we've all taken part in classic Days of Our Lives location shoots. Do you have a favorite memory? Emily and Gideon. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my favorite story that we've ever done here was in Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah. And except for bugs and things like that, I, I was ready to move there. I mean, I thought it was so beautiful. It was and, gorgeous. And we were so committed to that story and we had That's so much right. fun. And we. For actors, it was all these costumes and accents and stuff. So as an actor, you big, really feel like you're an actor. Beautiful handlebar mustache. You did. Yeah. What's the most vivid memory of your character's splashy '80s wedding? The first wedding right. on the boat. We Beautifully shot on, written. Lo on location mm -hmm. in uh, the marina. We were docked. It was a gorgeous, gorgeous yacht. And the thing about that day was the crew. You saw all of these people doing their jobs, and it was like uh, this huge celebration. It was almost like a dream. Mm -hmm. it, it, everything was so beautiful, mm -hmm. and the people behind the scenes were just as invested in making that it day right. in making it beautiful right. as we were. Right. Can you share a memory of the late Peggy McKay, who played your on-screen mother, Carolyn Brady? Well, Steve and I both loved her so much. In fact really towards the end of her life, we went to her house. And Stephen was so sweet, he heard that she liked cheesecake. So, And so he goes, I'm gonna bring her some cheesecake. Well, he brought this platter of like, maybe eight different kinds of cheesecake slices, all these different kinds of cheesecake. It was very cute and she she loved his harmonica playing and she had him play harmonica and she did her, her Mama Brady rap. I mean, it was amazing. You know, she was one of those actresses who was so connected and so committed but she always brought the game up yep. a few notches, yep. you know, and, and just look at her, and she was so in it, mm -hmm. it, put, it put you in mm -hmm. it. You marked your 35th anniversary of being on Days of Our I Lives. know, crazy. How it? has being cast as Kayla changed your life? I think in every way it changed my life. Don't you feel the same way for yourself? For sure. Yeah. I, my children, too, it's interesting. They don't remember me really working, mm -hmm. and that's what was the beauty of daytime. Right is do that do? we don't have night shoots you and we, what we do. yeah and then sometimes you may work five days but the next week you may work three and then you're or you're home at noon or it's so varied that um for them it was great because i was around a lot and for me now at this time 35 years later just to just to have a regular job in what i love doing is great and a lot of times too especially in this last crazy year with covid and all the crazy things when i come here there is some serene thing that comes over me of familiarity i suppose but being with our friends and people that we've known for such a long time and the routine of it here and all that. I always feel so good here and there is not a moment that goes by that I take it for granted. Yeah. I had a great time. I hope you guys did too. Thank and you so much. We'll see you again. We love hopefully. you guys. Love you. We'll see you next year in person, I bet. Oh, that would be fun. All right. Let's hope. Bye-bye. Good to see you, Days fans, and thank you for all your support throughout the years. 
and we're here to talk about all the great memories we've made on Days of Our Lives, right? Yes, we are. <laughs> Can't wait. Me too. All right, so okay. I have a question for you, you Judy. Okay. Um, when you first joined the show in 1987, a long time ago, who was the first friend you made in the cast? Oh, my goodness. Um, actually, the first time I was on the show was in 1981. Oh. I played a... Trista's friend Becky U5. So, uh, yeah. U5. Yeah. Becky. U5. Becky U5. Under five. That's under um, five for. But, you know, I didn't have any friends then. It's so. under five lines. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, really, I think Mary Beth was the first friend I made. Uh, when I first started, I was working a lot with Stephen and Mary Beth. And Mary Beth and I hit it off right. Well, who doesn't hit it off with Mary Beth? So wow. it was definitely Mary Beth. Um, you were hired as Justin in 1987. So, what stands out in your audition process? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think. Well, I do know that I had to go back twice. They weren't sure. Really? That I had that star quality. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> no, I think I was a little heavy because I was told after the first audition to go lose five pounds and go to a hair salon where Shelly <laughs> Curtis made me cut a hair that looked just like Jack Wagner. I had to have the, the, the Jack Wagner look. And and uh, I was pretty cocky because I remember thinking, well, I guess if I'm too uh, fat for daytime, I guess I'll just have to do nighttime. Oh my gosh. She loved that. She <laughs> thought that was pretty, pretty good. Um, you so look I so remember, great. I can't believe that. Well, no, I was a little heavy. No. And I did. I, ran, I jogged all weekend long and ate nothing but fruit. Um, so I think I lost a couple pounds. <laughs> Sorry. So the, when I went back the second time, there was just one other guy that I auditioned with. Um, the first time around, there was like four or five. Did but you have to sing? Really did you sing at all? Oh, no, I no? didn't sing. They didn't, they didn't know you could sing until later. Yeah. Wow. For the both of us, here's yes. the question. What do we see as the key to the success of our long-standing acting partnership? Oh, our friendship. Yeah. Definitely our friendship. It brings such trust to each other. Yeah. I mean, where we go, we follow. Where you go, I follow. Yes. Where I go, it's a you dance. hit me. No, it's I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a dance, and we have to trust each yeah. other that we don't step on each other's feet. And sometimes we do. And that's good. And we tolerate it. Oh. <clears throat> so you tolerate a, Like it. a good friend, you tolerate <laughs> things that, you know, they sometimes not work out. No, that's not but true. But also, let me just say this. You are a very talented actor, so it's a pleasure to work with you. And I, you make me want to be better, and you inspire me to do good work. I feel the same way about you. Your heart is so big, and you show it in, in all of your work. And it's hard to wrap your heart, hands around it because it's just you're so... Big hearted and big Thank talented you. too. Thank you. <laughs> love you. We love each other. We do. That's that's the secret of our success. Yes, <laughs> we really like each other and love each we other. We like each other and love each other. It's and been respect. a long time. Mm -hmm. Can you share the story of how you may accidentally really have gotten married in real life while shooting Justin and Adrian's 1987 wedding? You tell the story because you know <laughs> the actor slash uh, Greek Orthodox yes. minister priest who right. married us. What, and I found that out years ago because uh, we were, Justin and Adrian were married in the Greek Orthodox Church. St. Sophia's Church Saint downtown Sophia's Church. LA. And they hired a, a, a real, a real Greek, Orthodox Greek Orthodox priest. priest to marry us. So he did the complete ceremony, complete. Yeah. And years later, I uh, was working in, an, in the cemetery business and had a meeting with Greek Orthodox Church over some other business, and uh, they were telling a story about this priest who got in a lot of trouble because he was on a TV show, and he actually married the characters of the TV <laughs> show. And I was sitting there going, um, I think I might know those people. And he said, yeah, legally, I mean, not legally, but um, in the eyes of the church. In the eyes of the church. Justin and Adrian are married, or, which Wally and Judy are, we're going to spend eternity together. <laughs> Aren't you so happy? <laughs> in the Greek Orthodox Heaven. Heaven. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful murals. Well, that was fun. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I'll see you on the set. <laughs> and thank you for coming. Thank and you. I hope you enjoy Day of Days. And we enjoy you. So thank you so much. Mwah. <laughs> you know one thing I love about the Days family? What's that, Eric? It's that everyone is game for a little friendly competition. No, maybe that's just you. No, it's everybody. Right. <laughs> well, let's see who's going to come out on top in this year's Game of Trivia. All right, let's go. Yep. Welcome to the Ultimate Days of Our Lives Trivia Competition. I am Carson Boatman here with 
Lindsay Arnold, Raven Bowens, and arguably the most handsome man in daytime, Brandon what? Beamer, everybody. <laughs> Very hard, <laughs> right? <laughs> cool. So let's see how much our contestants really know about Days of Our Lives. You guys ready for question number one? No. Uh huh. Well, I'm going to give it to you anyway. Question one, who oh. did Sean briefly oh. date in 2016 when he and Belle were on the rocks? Should I? Lindsay, yeah, ladies oh, first. Let's do it. Lindsay first. Let's do it. OK, I know I'm wrong. <laughs> I mean, she might have been dreaming it. I but, was like, so is, it that the, is that the backstory to why she loves you so much? She never got over the relationship. She never got over it. That's it's only one guess. guy for her, and it's Sean. And it's you. It's just, well, it's Sean, not me, oh, right. but Sean. <laughs> Sammy. Sammy Brady. <laughs> you have me questioning this now. And there it is. Okay, ding, good. Ding, ding. Oh, I was like, I was like, like wait a second. I thought you were going to go further back. Say. That was a little bit of a kind of a not fair question, to be honest. I mean, you were there. <laughs> and next question, speaking of Jan, Lindsay, where was Belle discovered after Jan drugged her and took her place as the bride at her wedding to Sean? Jesus. I don't know. I'm cheating. Um. Let's do it. <laughs> Lindsay first. D, in Philip's bed. <gasps> D, for drama. Oh, my drama. Geez, the drama. drama. That's in the messiest. Uncle Philip's bed. That's <laughs> right. Everybody wins. Oh, we all got right? Yay. Yes. Uncle Mine, Philip. I'm like, that's too. He's your uncle, too. You guys are cousins? Yeah, because he's Lucas's oh, yeah. brother. Yeah. Yeah. Why did Tom and Alice remarry in 1991? Uh, we'll, we'll mix it up and start with Brandon this time. <laughs> Well, I mean, I was there, <laughs> not, I don't know, A. C, create a distraction. Okay. A, and this word is supposed to say commemorate. Commemorate. Well, unfortunately, guys, um, nobody had no. a right answer. No. It's a, what was it? The correct answer was B. B? They discovered their first marriage was invalid. Come that on, that's my second choice. Oh. That was my second it's choice. It's days. It's the first I know, thing I thought. one sounded a little bit more messy, so that's why I went with that one. Next question. In the 1980s, Stefano was obsessed with acquiring three prisms. Why? We ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's start with Raven. <laughs> Destruction. OK. I was thinking the same thing. A. Three of them. I mean, for family. Uh, do we have three? A D. To cure his son Tony's brain tumor is incorrect. The correct oh. answer was C. So his own, his, his, own. his own brain tumor. Uh, I should have known that. He's yeah, so that selfish. Yeah, that was so loving. Yeah. Yeah. You picked the most loving. I did. What does he need three prisons for? His own I brain tumor. That? I don't know. And we're gonna just keep the questions coming with this one. Where did Marlena and faux Roman slash John discover the real Roman alive? We ready? You want to flip them, flip them all at the same yeah. time, guys? One, two, C. 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 Ooh. No. And it was A. It was A. A uh, Mexican a island. Mexican what? island. A, yeah. He throws in that Taco Tuesday. There's a distraction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's not fair. I was trying to throw it in to give an extra about emphasis. Margaritas. You were. No, I was. I was, I was like, we're always thing. in Italy. I was about to go. I'm out of here. <laughs> I was like, everybody loves yeah. Italy. I was gonna the say castle Italy. sounded cool. We are in Italy a lot. The cast. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's why I went for Italy. Okay, how did teenage Lucas discover Bill Horton was his real father? And let's flip our whiteboards. A C D C. No, C is right. Oh. Is what? Yeah. Okay. That's the end of the game. Let's see who is Salem's trivia superstar. I'll get right down to it. In third place is no one. Nobody got third place today. But that's OK, because in second place, we have <laughs> Lindsay Arnold. And then as a tie for first place as the trivia superstar of Salem is Brandon Beamer and Raven Bowens coming in. Yay! Yes. Good Congratulations job. to you both. Good we are Raven. so thrilled. Bowen for each of you, and you guys both have bright futures wow, ahead. Wow, thank yeah. you. Nice. Thank you yeah. so much. Make sure you stay tuned, keep following, and keep watching the Day of Days. we got a lot more panels coming up, and just one more big round of applause for these three contestants. Yeah, just clap for yourselves, guys. Clap it was great. It was great. We'll see you.
Now that's a game of trivia. Uh, I could have probably crushed that competition. Maybe next year. Mm. But now it's time for our final Q&As featuring some of the cast members who have made Days of Our Lives into the iconic show that it is. And we can't think of a better way to conclude a day of days than with these next two conversations. Hello, Days fans. Doug and Julie here, uh, anxious to answer questions about our more than 50 years in Salem, our experiences with Days of Our Lives, and our wonderful experience talking to our fans. Glad you're here. Now we're going to get right to it. Billy, my darling, that is Doug. Yes. We're part of a beloved Days couple, sets of couples. Right. And what is the secret to our romance, and why is it a success? Well, in the first place, <laughs> the audience watched us fall in love. Susan and I married in 74. Doug and Julie married in 1976. The thing is, unlike the characters on the show, or any of the characters on the show, we've stayed in love. Yeah. I think you can see that. I think there's a reality to the kisses and the concerns yeah. and the happiness and the joy of being married to someone Susan that you like. Susan is the best kisser of all. Sweetheart, what does it mean to you that Julie is still a vital character after playing her all these years, 53 years. Well, I guess I did some good work at the beginning. And uh, I wasn't recast. That, that was a blessing. I like to think the writer now thinks of her as feisty, uh, devoted to her family, yes. uh, and still outspoken, which I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate the, I've always appreciated being on the show. I'm really loving being on the show right now because I'm connected because of my antiquity, I'm connected to so many characters on the show. Yep. And we're still connected, which is the big connection for my, for my heart and soul. So when the show went from 30 minutes to an hour. 75. Twice as much show. Yes. A lot of changes. What was the biggest change for you? Pat Falcon Smith was our head writer at mm -hmm. that time. She had taken over from Bill Bell. She said, I don't know if we can write an hour's story <laughs> Every day. Every day, five days a week. And she said, we'll, we'll add songs. That's what we'll do. And the music in the show always illuminated the plot. Okay. I can remember sitting there longing for Doug when Julie was separated from right. Doug, crying when you would sing a love song. Right. Cue the tears, cue the right. red roses, cue the tears. It was cue. wonderful. I would also like to point out, you were the first performer to sing on daytime television. You were a real bargain because you could, you could sing it, you could arrange it, yeah. and you could perform it on cue perfectly flawlessly in one take. It wasn't that way on some of the other shows that tried to add music. I know, because I watched them. How did you feel when Albert Alar whispered in your ear that you were going to be possessed by the devil on Days of Our Lives? I had never experienced anything like that. Fortunately. Fortunately. <laughs> However, my son Bill is a, is a counselor. He's a Christian counselor, also a, a minister. That's right. and Also a missionary. It's a very frightening thing to have happen. Right. But he also gave us some pointers about uh, how to handle it, and also spoke with our producer, who spoke with our, our gifted writer. And I'm happy to say that the script has followed the, uh, the directions of the people who have genuinely been involved in this situation. So I'm very proud of the story. Right. Uh, uh, it was a trial. Also. It was a trial for both of us. Yes. And I must say, I thought you were both wonderful. And I was so glad that it was Deidre that you were working with. Yes. Uh, she is a great friend, uh, a great personal friend to us from always. Yep. And the day that we had to get Billy fitted for the uh, devil look uh, at the optometrist, Dee and Billy were together with the doctor supporting each other. There's, there's a, the atmosphere of love and protection around us when Dee is in the room that right. uh, is unmatched. And thank goodness it worked out. Right. <laughs> it is so good to see you, Days fans. In fact, it's you that makes Salem such a very special place for us. So we'd like to thank you for taking a walk down memory lane with us together yeah can you share what comes to mind when you think about the late legendary john scott who played stefano 
I used to pull up out here in the studio, and Joe would be in his car. And if we pulled in at the same time, he'd get out of his car and he'd say, "Hey, listen, I just, um, I just, um, I'm working on my, you know, my, my, my lake house up there in Arrowhead. You got to come up and get because I, I got in a whole new room and it's going to be really wonderful." He would walk inside the door. As soon as he would go in through the threshold, he would say, "Because the lake this time of year is a fabulous lake, and the fish are big, and everything is just..." He turned into Stefano. That's what I was going to say, too. Oh he my turned goodness. into yeah. Stefano yeah. when he walked through the door. And he remained in character the whole time until he left the studio and walked out the threshold. And then he was Joe. Where is the most unexpected place you had ever encountered a day's family? Many, 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 many years ago, I got a, a letter from a man. Um, in Chester, Pennsylvania, when I was, I mean, 40 years ago when I was just starting the show. And um, um, he was a, a day's watcher. And his name was H. Weston Taylor. And um, uh, we were doing the Mike Douglas show in those days. And so I was going back to be on an episode. And he lived in Chester. And I said, you know what? Wait a minute, I can take the train to where you are. Because we'd had this lovely, lovely uh, letter writing uh, relationship. And, uh, and I went out to Chester. and sat on his front porch and we had a lovely time and at that point he was 96 years old hmm. and and we stayed friends for the next year and hmm. a half and then i called him one day and i said weston weston i just got gosh you sound kind of funny he said no no it's weston i said no he said oh is this deidre yeah he said oh honey it's weston jr oh. yeah but i had talked to him the night that he died Mm. Which was just such a rich, rich, rich time. That was, yeah, Chester, Pennsylvania. Nice. The other one is uh, people on my front lawn, uh, lawn on Halloween. <laughs> 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 but we have oh. patrols for that. <laughs> mm. this, is, this past year, you marked the 35th anniversary of your debut on Days of Our Lives. What does that milestone mean to you? Survivor. <laughs> a survivor of... <clears throat> of coming in not knowing anything, of coming into this show, and that first day of never left the set because I had to follow everybody around through dry block. I had to watch Mac and Francis and Quinn Redeker and Gloria Loring and you, and just to see how do they do this. And I remember saying, I can't do this. I came from doing you know, television, they do seven scenes a day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, and, and, and I didn't think that, uh, that I was gonna have any staying power there. And uh, just amazing, and yeah. the rest is history. Well, I guess that's all the questions we have time for today. Um, Hasn't this been fun? Yeah, it has been. You know, we never, we never really get to visit with the fans except for Day of Days, and this is a nice virtual way to do it. So right. it's a, thank you for joining us and for loving us and for partaking in this particular uh, part of our part of our virtual tour. Right. And uh, and just stay with us. It just gets better. Now that was the perfect way to end an incredible day together. And unfortunately, our time is coming to a close. Aww. But this is not goodbye. You will be seeing us in your TV screen very soon. So let's see what's coming up on Days of Our Lives. Bam. Tis the season to jingle your bells with the one you love. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Who are you? Days of Our Lives celebrates the holidays with surprises. Don't you want to hear the big news? Should we tell them now? Tell us what? In all sizes. Yeah. Can I at least wish you a Merry Christmas? I was kidnapped. Hang on, Sammy. I'm on my way. Where's Sarah? I have no idea what you're talking about. Where the hell is she? official limb that was stretched up from the river. Oh my god, Philip. My son is dead. And Brady is the one who put him there. The other right to remain silent. You're the devil. I will fight you with everything in my soul. I need you to give me a sign.
What do you say, father? You want to make a sequel? We hope you enjoyed A Day of Days. We're at the end of our show, but it doesn't end here. Head to dayofdays2021.com for some fun interactive quizzes and to re-watch your favorite segments from the day. On behalf of all of us here at Days, thank you for being a part of the Days family and joining us for this year's Day of Days. Now we have one final message from the cast to leave with you. Have a beautiful day from all of us here at Days of Our Lives. We love you. Hi, Days fans. Can you believe it's been another year? We can. And this year, we celebrate 56 years on NBC. 56 years. What? Really? Yes. Whoa. That's amazing. And each and every one of you got us here. We pinch ourselves. Every day. We couldn't be luckier to have fans like you. Your unwavering support and love this past year has truly kept us going. So while our fan event had to be virtual again, we're grateful to have a way to still spend this day together. And that's what matters. Thank you for sticking with us through this roller coaster of a year. We know when we stick together, we can make it through anything. And this past year has really shown us that. We still found ways to have fun, though. I mean, who didn't love Beyond Salem? I know I did. We'll have even more in store for you as we move into 2022. You definitely won't want to miss the moment. So stay in touch, stay close, and stay tuned. We hope you enjoyed the day we put together for you. And we look forward to seeing all of your beautiful faces in person again next year. From our family to yours. Have a safe and happy holiday season. 2022, 2022 here, here we come. come.